Now this Vaughan Connect 10 video is going to show a common setup that's, uh, that's used with the Vaughan Connect 10. There's many variables to it, so there will be some things that you'll do differently. But this will show the setup menu. So there's a home screen there at the moment. You're going to hit the setup key and we'll hit the more... This gives you a series of different options. Configure favourites, all off, all auto, setting time. What we're going to go through here is to the installation setup menu. So you can see it says that there. It's going to touch that one there. It'll ask for a password. The password is one, two, three, four. Hit the done key and we're into our installation setup. It gives you a setup summary first of what's already set up in the system. Because I've cleared this one out, there's nothing there. So we're starting with a blank canvas. So we hit the change key. The first question it asks us is the number of lighting zones in the swimming pool. I'm going to say there's two. We're going to su suggest there's one in the pool and one in the spa. So let's use that arrow up and down there to input the number you're after. So two lighting zones, we hit next. It now asks us to name those lighting zones. You can see here, select the following lighting, uh, lighting zone name. It defaults to pool and we'll leave it there. If you have a look down the bottom of the screen, it says zone supports multicolour lighting. That's making specific reference to the astral pool delta light. And you have that um, box highlighted if that is the light you're using with the control system. If you're using the astral pool arc light or an alternative supplied light, um, you would unhighlight that box. But let's suggest we are going to use a delta light in this application and we'll highlight it. And then hit the next key and it'll ask us the same question for the second light. Uh, it's assumed that we're going to have a spa light here and we'll leave it there as well. And also this light is going to support the multicolour lighting zone. And we go to next. Now asks how many functions the system is going to operate. Is it zero, is it four, or is it eight? We'll leave it set at the default there of eight. But you can just change that easily by hitting the dots there. But we'll leave it on the eight and move on to the next screen. It asks us now, is, are we going to have it installed in conjunction with the Genus heater? That's referring to the thermostat, the Genus thermostat board that's in either the Viron gas heater, the MX, the HX, the WX, or the JX heaters. Uh, in most cases, the Viron Connect 10 will be installed with the Genus heater, so we'll select yes. The no option would be if you were going to install the Connect 10 with an alternatively branded heater or perhaps one of the Astral Pool heat pumps. So we'll say yes, we are going to install it with a Genus heater. Hit next. Now that's if we're going to set it up with a solar. In this case, I'm going to say no, but there are options where you can activate a solar control menu inside the Connect 10, and we'll make a separate video for that. Hitting next, ask us, are we going to run it with pool spa modes? That's saying, do we have two bodies of water sharing the same filtration system, running off motorised valves? It's one of the common uses for the Viron Connect 10, so here we'll say, yes, we are going to run it in pool and spa mode. Now it comes a time when we actually apply the names of the appliances in the Connect 10 to the various channel functions. Um, I'm going to say here, channel 1 is swimming pool equipment. So we hit that there. Uh, and we go to next. And then we get an opportunity to name the piece of equipment that it is. Is it a filter pump? Is it a cleaning pump? Is it a heater pump? Is it a booster? And you can curse across with these arrows and select a range of different appliances. Uh, all the way through to the end, we end up with the opportunity to customise it and name it something that may not appear in the menu. Channel 1, however, is typically um, used for the filter pump. So in this case, we won't differ from that. We'll name it the filter pump and go on to the next selection here. It'll then ask us, is it a variable speed pump? Is it running with a Viron Evo pump? We'll select yes for this installation and go to the next opportunity, the next um, the next setup, and it asks, do we want to apply this to timers? You can have the timers control every channel, some channels, or no channels at all. Obviously, with the filter pump, we want, it to control, we want that um, product to be controlled by, by the timers, so we'll say yes there. Channel 2, the same thing, it asks us, what, pro what product do we want it to be? Do we want it to be pool equipment, lighting, or unused? Again, we'll say pool equipment, and then we label the product that it is. We'll say cleaning here. Okay, so we're up to setting channel 6 now and we're going to start setting up some of the lighting zones. So instead of selecting pool equipment as we have for the previous ones, I'm going to hit lighting here and go next. And because we already set up that we had a pool light and a spa light, it's now asking which one of these is applied to channel 6. We're going to leave it as the pool light and move on to the next option. Channel 7 we'll also put as lighting and it'll ask us the same question. Is it the pool light or the spa light? We've already um, put number six to the pool, so we'll put number seven to the spa. And go next. Let's leave number eight unused. And go through to next. 
And it now asks us to select the minimum heater on speed for the filter pump. So that's asking us when the gas heater's running, what speed do you want the variable speed pump to be running at? And it's always good to have that on medium when the heater comes on, just to give it adequate water flow through the gas heater. And then you move on to the next section, which is the valves. It controls two valve actuators away from the pool and spa valve actuators. They'd be used to control either water directed up to a solar system or directed to a, to a waterfall line coming off the return line. In this instance, I'm going to leave them unused. Valve number one unused. Hit next, valve number two unused. Then takes us to a couple of questions regarding um, some of the other features of the, clean, of the controller. The first one is, is the clean interlock required? That's if you're running an in-floor cleaning system. And because we've got a spa attached to this pool, we're going to say, yes, we do require that. And that'll stop cold water from being injected into the spa when the cleaning system's running. And in fact, shut the cleaning system down when in spa mode. Heat demand's used to um, achieve a particular temperature during certain times of the day. In this case, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to bother about monitoring the water chemistry with this application. We'll make another video for that. Then you go through the next and it gives you a summary. So you can see there, channel one, two, three, and four, and five all have um, swimming pool equipment there, filter pump, cleaning systems, waterfalls, jets, and blowers, and Z1 and 2 are our pool and spa lights. We can exit that, go back to our menu, and now we have a full uh, complement of um, appliances there to control through the Vine Connect 10.